What's up everybody and welcome back to another review and today we will be reviewing the NECA Ultimate Guardian Predator and man this is my first Predator figure ever and I cannot wait to jump into this review. This Predator is from Predator 2. Without further ado, let's hop into the review. Anyway, let us see how tall this figure is. And he is right at, right above. He's almost at eight and a half inches. Almost. Don't like him. This figure comes packed with the accessories. First you have these blast effects which I'm not a big fan of mainly because they're not translucent, but you know, I might use them. And here's his arm cannon that I have not yet put on his figure. I might, it just depends on how strong I think the figure is. Of course, it's one of the older NECA figures, so you have to be very gentle with it. Heat it up when you want to articulate it and stuff. He comes with these two gripping hands and he comes with one relaxed hands and then the splayed out hands right there like I'm grabbing your face hands then he comes with these armor pieces that I have no clue oh, I know where this one goes this one goes on the arm of the figure but I don't know where the rest of these go so yeah cool stuff there I think this is this staff, but yet all folded up. Now you do want to be careful with these things because as you can see, mine is about to snap off and it's already snapped off one end. So you, you want to be careful with that if you're going to get this figure. And then I already showed you that. Then he comes with these discs. One's closed, one is open. And I do not know what these are called. So if you all know what these are called, then please leave a comment and tell me. And then finally, the Predator's Unmasked Head, which I really like. It's my favorite head that he comes with. Like I said, you want to be careful with this figure's articulation. Some points are stiff until heating up. Some parts are just stiff. So let us start with the head like we always do. You can look up about that far. You can look down that far. He has major tilt. And he can put his head a full 360, but I wouldn't suggest doing that much since this gun right here, which also moves and articulates some, very some, but be careful with it. And here at the arm, his arm can go all the way around. Then his arm can come out about that far. goes back in neutral position. You have a bicep swivel here with some of these pinned double elbows. It's not their normal double elbows, but it comes up about there. His hand goes all the way around and has an in and out hinge, and that is true on all of his hands. Now here at the torso, we have something up here that just won't quite move also you're going to want to be very careful with this figure this up here it can kind of tilt can kind of move up and down but down here is where the main stuff is he can crunch about like that and arc back about like that so not really good torso movement but then again that's not where i mainly move my figures Moving down to the legs here, you have a very, th you can see it's a very thin or a very stiff thigh swivel. And this guy is not on ball joints. He's on those ratchet joints. 
but he can kick out pretty good. He can kick forward really good. He can kick back really good. And he can go... <laughs> As the Floosh would say, that's better than Spider-Man. <laughs> and yeah, he's he has double-jointed pinned knees, which can go up about here. Now, here's what I really like about the feet, because you look at the feet, and you're like, well, hey, there's no articulation down there. But there is. It's hidden somewhere up in here, which is beautifully hid hid hidden. His, that's about as far as his foot can go down. His foot can go up about that far. And he does have rocker. So, yeah, pretty good articulation on this guy. I really like him. So let's move on to looks and design. Now this figure has wonderful details and I would expect no less from NECA. This is truly one of NECA's most detailed pieces. But as you can see at the head, there's a good silver, there's a good silver kind of bron bronzy-ish look. It's a very unusual color but I like it, and it, there's some wear and tear up there. You can see a little bit of his head peek out from there, which, fun fact, that's a little bit darker of a red than what's actually here, but that could be off of the helmet or something. I don't think so, but it could be, but yeah, I like the gold silver and bronze braids they use for his dreads and yeah there's just detail on the back here nothing unfinished these are very pliable so they will not get in the way of head movement as we saw and his little gun right here which you have to be careful with these little pieces on these neck of figures because they can break off and then the armor piece here gets out of the way beautifully for articulation. As you can see, it's pegged in right there. But, but yeah, we move down to the torso a little bit. Oops. We move down to the torso. You can see that kind of netting, netted clothes right there, which I like. And of course you have these loose pieces of stuff here like these little I don't want to say armor pieces but he has his little satchel here and then this crotch piece that moves and then you got little you got another little satchel here then a peg for something then you know wonderful details on the back predator butt right there <laughs> then you have a place for where his dit one of his where his closed disc can go on here you just got to slide it in like so well it slides in there trust me um <laughs> I like the arm, I, like, I really like the gauntlets. There is a swivel at the gauntlets that I forgot to mention in articulation. And then these blades here. Now be careful with the sharp stuff because they are actually sharp. So don't poke yourself with it. I like, I like these double jointed elbows and they could have switched back to that because of people who are complaining about the weird elbows. I didn't think they were weird. I thought they were cool, but they did look funky on some characters. And did I just break my own rule? The hands are wonderfully done as well. They've got that slimy look. That This whole character has that kind of gloss of like slimy skin look. And sorry, his ankles are a bit weak. Come up here. You ain't falling on, you ain't falling on camera, all right? 
Then down here at the legs, you got some more of that netting stuff here, and then more of that armor stuff here, the knee pads there. I will say that without really paying attention, you will not see the pegs unless you looked on this leg here. But yeah, the netting is cool. Um, goes all the way to the back and onto the joints a little bit. Then here, you got some more of that armor. And then the feet are kind of like the hands. But the feet are just amazingly detailed. They got some more of that. They got more detail down here. Then, of course, you have that area where you need to put brands and stuff on there. Which I'm glad they put it on the bottom of the foot and not on the back of the figure. But, yeah, really like the feet really nice figure there's a peg right there for something as well okay here he is for comparisons next to the turtles four pack mikey and the star wars black series bo katan kreese from the mandalorian and as you can see this figure just absolutely towers over these two here he is more into his own seven inch and eight inch scale excuse me Okay, here he is with his more to 7 to 8 inch scale. Here is the NECA Ultimates Frankenstein colored version and the Diamond Select Stormtrooper. As you can see, he towers over the Stormtrooper, but is almost the same height as Frankenstein. So, yeah, he'll work out greatly with your other monsters in your collection. But he will, but he'll tower over some of your Star Wars Diamond Select figures if, for whatever reason, you won't put him into that bunch. For our last comparison, here he is next to the WWE Ultimate Edition 11 uh, Kane and the NECA Ultimate uh, Pizza Monster, and as you can see. He towers over Kane, but Pizza Monster, Pizza Monster is slightly taller than uh, the Predator figure. So, yeah, just if you want to put him with these bunch of big figures, then you can. It's up to you. So my overall thoughts of him is just wow. What a amazing figure he is. He is so detailed and so awesome. I just can't wait to get my hands on more Predator figures because this guy is just awesome without, I mean, he's just awesome. But without further ado, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please, uh, please hit the like button. That would be gladly appreciated. And if you enjoy my overall content, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you wanted to get notified for when I next make a video, then please hit the like button. So, or please hit the notification bell. But anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.